Hey everyone, Serenity here. I want to take a little bit of time to share with you an opportunity where you can start making passive income right now with what you've already got. And it's not going to cost you a dime out of pocket. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to go buy anything. All you have to do is utilize the materials you've already got at home and start putting more work for you. What am I talking about? I'm talking about crypto mining. And before you get all crazy on me and say, no, no, I, I, I'm not smart enough for that. Believe it or not, it's not that hard. And I'm going to walk you through the whole process right here. You see, the simple fact is most of us have a computer that's less than six years old. And if we're not sitting there playing video games, oftentimes we're watching YouTube videos or responding to emails, maybe doing homework. You know what? It can be mining cryptocurrency while all that is occurring. And we can be making money while that computer is sitting there doing next to nothing. Let's utilize the power of the materials we've already got and start putting them work for us. Now, if you're thinking that you've got to have some top end graphics card or something like that, and it's going to be crazy loud and expensive. It's really not. All you need is a CPU. That's right. The central brain of your computer. That's what we're going to utilize today to start earning passive income. Now, I'm not talking crazy amounts of money. I'm talking a couple bucks a day. Hey, you start adding that up a couple bucks a day over a month, that's 60 bucks a month. Not bad. Even if you're paying an extra $15 in power to run that computer, you're making $60 in that month. That's still $45 profit for doing nothing more than spending 10 minutes setting it up. And that's what we're going to do today. So, if you're ready to get going, let's jump into it. Now, the first thing we have to know is what coin are we going to mine? So right now, the Zeph coin is really profitable, so we're going to set it up for this one today. Now, the first thing we have to do is create a wallet to receive our Zeph coins after we've mined them. So we're going to go to Zegx here, and we're going to create a wallet that's going to do nothing more than collect our Zeph, exchange it for another cryptocurrency, and that's what we're going to be sending off to our primary wallet. So let's get started. So the very first thing when you're here is just enter your email address. Once you get your email in, go ahead and register now. Go ahead and set a password, agree to the terms of service, and create account. Then it says check your email for the verification. Then it's gonna send a pin to our email address. Go ahead and tell it okay. And now check your email, get the pin number, and then enter it right down here where it says email pin. Now just a warning, it did send the pin to my spam folder, so make sure to keep an eye on that. Once you get it, enter your pin and create your account. And there you go, our account's all set up. The only thing we still have to do is add a two-factor authenticator to this account to allow us to receive and send cryptocurrency. Pretty simple to do. Grab your cell phone, use Google Authenticator or whatever one you have, and then on your account screen, just go to set up two-factor right there, and there you go. Same process we've done time and time again on multiple other programs, and all this does is add a layer of security, but it is required to get our Zeph address that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code, enter the number it gives us on our authenticator, and click Save Changes. Now it's gonna take your account settings screen, but you know what, we don't need any of this. From here, just click Wallet. From there, go to the top, do a search for Zeph, Z-E-P-H. Go down to the one that just says Zeph. Go over to where it says Deposit. Click on that. That's gonna give us our Zeph wallet address. Now this is where we are going to have our earnings sent to. Now once it's over in this wallet, we can exchange it for whatever we want. We can send that off to Coinbase or however we wanna do it. That's totally up to you. We just have to create this wallet address so that can receive our earnings from our mining program. So let's go set that up. Now we have to set up the actual mining software. So we're gonna to go to xmrig.com. Now I gotta warn you up front, when you try to download this, your antivirus program is going to see it as a virus because it's going to be a software program that runs in the background. So what we're gonna to have to do to get this through security is we have to turn security off briefly for these next few steps. So if you're running on a Windows machine, it's actually really simple. Go down here to the bottom Windows icon, type in the search box security. Then it'll show you Windows security. Go ahead and click on that. Once that pops up, go down to your virus and threat protection. Scroll down so you see virus and threat protection settings, manage settings, real time protection. Turn that off and it's gonna give you a warning saying, are you sure you wanna do this? Yes, I'm sure I wanna do this. So click the yes box and that's it. That's all you have to do. Now we can go back to our XM rig, click the download and that's gonna bring up the link to download the xmrig.zip file. So go ahead and click on that link and it's gonna tell you the software can be flagged by antivirus. I understand that, I've taken my steps, I'm ready to do it. Go ahead and click, I understand. And that gives you the download link. Once that shows up, just click download. 
and you should see your download going in right here at the top. Now, once your download's complete, go ahead and open your downloads folder. And you should have a zipped file that looks very much like this one here. All you have to do is right click on that and extract all. And that's going to ask you, where would you like to extract those files? And I'm going to tell it yes, right there in the downloads folder and go ahead and extract. And there you go. That has added XM rig to your system. Now we've got some configuration, but the first thing we want to do is tell our antivirus to ignore that file. So how do we do that? So go ahead and open your Windows Security tab again. And as you can see, it still says real-time protection off. We want to leave that off for a quick second. But what we want to do is we want to scroll down to where it says exclusions. Now we can add or remove an exclusion. So we're going to click on that. And of course, that's going to give us a warning. And yes, we do want to access this. So what we want to do is add an exclusion here. And we want to add it to a folder. So click the folder drop down. Go into our downloads folder. And as you can see, right there is the folder we just unzip. Click on that and then click select folder. And there you go. As you can see, it's created an exclusion for the antivirus program to ignore our XMRig file. Nothing else, just that one folder we have our mining software in. Now, once we've created that exclusion, go ahead and back up and turn real time protection back on. And again, it gives us a pop up. Go ahead and click yes on that. And there we go, our system is back to fully protected, except for it's going to ignore that one XM rig folder because that's where our mining software is running. So now that we have our security back on, we've got our XM rig, we need to configure the miner. So go ahead and go back to your downloads folder, open the XM rig that we extracted, and we have to open it again. There we go. Now you're gonna see multiple files in there. One of them is gonna say pool mine example, okay? Right click on that one and copy that and then go ahead and paste the copy right there in the same folder. There it is here at the end. Now we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna rename it. And we're gonna go ahead and rename that file Zephyr Hero Miner, okay? Just like you see here on the screen, go ahead and do that, hit enter, and that's changed the name. Now the next step is we have to go in and edit some pieces within that file, but we have to get those pieces first. So let's start off on the mining pool. We're gonna start mining the Zephyr at. So to do that, go to herominers.com. That's where you're gonna see a whole list of cryptocurrencies that you can mine. And if you scroll down the list here at the bottom, you're gonna see Zephyr. Go ahead and click on the Zephyr link. That's gonna take you to the Zephyr mining pool information. Now, the first thing we have to get off here is our location. Now, I'm here in the western side of the United States. So go here where it says start, scroll down, and there you go, North America West. So it gives us an address there. Go ahead and click on that right click it and copy that entire little piece there. Then we're gonna go back to our downloads folder on that file that we just renamed. We're gonna right click on that and we need to edit that. So I'm gonna go down here and say show more options, click on that and then there we go, edit. That gives me a warning, says Windows protecting my PC. That's okay, show more information and run it anyway. Now that opens up our notepad. This is what's inside that file that we just renamed, okay? But what we have to do is fine tune this with our personal information. So up here gives us an example of all the different parts of this line of code. But really what we need is this line of code right down here is what we're gonna be editing. So the first thing we just copied from Hero Miners was the location and port number that we're going to be mining to because that's the closest mining pool location. So look at the line of code right here where it says xmrpool.eu colon three three. Highlight that and then paste what we just copied from Hero Miners in. So now it says us.zephyr.herominers.com colon 1123. Yours will say something different based on the location you selected on Hero Miners. Now, the next thing we have to do is get the wallet address that we have to deposit our Zephyr in from ZegX. So let's go back to that tab. So if we open our ZegX tab, remember we had our wallet address? This right here, go ahead and click the two pages to copy that address, go back into our notepad, and this big long number right here, that's the entire wallet address. But we wanna do only the wallet address. So highlight that and control V. And that will change it to our ZegX wallet address. So essentially this should read xmreg.exe-0, should have the address for where we're gonna mine to, the pool, 
dash u, then it should have our entire wallet address from zegx, which is the zef da 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 da, all the way down to the dash p, space x and pause. Now, once we've done that, go ahead and click file and save. Now, at this point in time, we've just configured our miner. We are ready to start mining. It's that simple. Let's go test it. So go ahead and close this out. And let's bring up our downloads folder. Now to start the miner, all we have to do is right click on the file that says Zephyr Hero Miners, and then click run as administrator. Now, once again, this might tell you that it's a malicious file, but that's okay. We already know it is, and we already told our antivirus to ignore anything in this folder. So go ahead and click the more information and tell it to run anyway. That's gonna give us another pop-up. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yes, we do. Now, once you open that, it's gonna pop up a window that looks just like this. That is your miner. That is up and running right now. Now, it may not look like it's doing a whole lot, but essentially what we're seeing is the CPU is mining. It tells us the algorithm it's mining, and as it starts scrolling through, it's gonna tell us how efficient this miner is by how many hash rate per second. And as you can see, we're running at a speed of 12 kilohash per second. Now, is that gonna make us rich? No, it's not. But you know what? If my computer is on and I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos or checking emails, or maybe I'm asleep and I just leave it on running, it's making me money while I sleep. And at any point in time, let's say I'm gonna go game or something and I wanna stop the miner, not a problem. Just click the X and there you go. The miner has stopped. It's that simple. And when I'm ready to start mining again, all I have to do is open my downloads, right click on the Zephyr Hero Miner file, run as administrator. Now you notice the big red box didn't pop up this time. It's because we already gave it clearance. So all we have to do is tell it, yes, we want to run it. And there we go. We're up running and earning again. So this is one of those, you can start and stop this as much as you need to. If you find out you're playing a game and it's loading it down or doing video editing, not a problem. Stop your miner while you're doing your task. Once you're done, you're going to get up, walk away, start it up. It's a couple clicks and you're earning. Now, after you've been up and running for a few minutes, you can start to calculate out what your earnings will be. How do you do that? It's real easy. So you go into here where your miner's actually running. See where it says miner speed? Is it 11844 or a max of 12,000 hashes per second? Well, let's go ahead and close that for a second. Let's go back to Hero Miners. Remember where we got this information? Scroll down a little bit. Here it says estimated mining pools. Well, we know we're pushing about 12 kilohashes per second because kilo is thousands. So we were pushing a max of 12 kilohashes. That says that's going to give me a daily return of about 0 0.059 ZEF and at current market rate, about $2 a day. It's going to give me a weekly return of about $14 and a month return, about $62. So this is where I can decide, it's like, hey, is it worth running this thing? Because I know if I'm running on the pool, every day I'm gonna be making $2. Well, if it's gonna cost me more in electricity than $2 to run it, it's not gonna be worth it. But if my electricity cost here in Idaho is fairly cheap, which it is, then great, I'm making a profit of over a dollar a day by letting this thing run. And you know what, if I'm asleep, if I'm at work, if I'm doing something else, why not let my computer make some money for me? Now, the last piece we have to understand about mining to a pool is there are certain criteria required before it's going to pay out to our Zephyr wallet. So let's go ahead and scroll up here to the pool details. Now, this tells us that there's a pool fee of 0.9% of our earnings are going to get paid to Hero Miners, okay? And they're not going to pay us out until we equal a total of 0.1 Zeph. That's about $3.50. And the payment interval is every one hour. So your miner has to run long enough to acquire that 0.1 Zeph breakthrough point. That's when it will transfer out your profits to the Zegex wallet. So it's really important to know exactly what your pool fees are, what the minimum requirement is. Because on some pools, if this required us to get say 20 Zeph before it was gonna pay us out, well, then we could be sitting for months waiting for that payout. And by the time that payout hit, the price of Zeph could have already dropped. So. Make sure when you get into a pool, you understand these fees and how often it's gonna pay out. Now, I hope this information has been valuable and it's really shown you that there are earning opportunities in crypto absolutely everywhere. But oftentimes, it doesn't require anything to get started. All it takes is a little bit of creativity and having a little bit of knowledge. Now, if you've enjoyed this information and you wanna see more of it, 
do me a huge favor. Take a moment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, or even better yet, jump in the Discord community. There's a great group of people talking about crypto, investing, earning, everything you want to know about crypto. We've got an awesome community over at Down Home Crypto. So I want to thank you very much for your time. Until next time, have a great night.